Why? Because um, I was almost hospitalized today. I need to take care of myself. But welcome to part two of staying warm in your vehicle. Now, the first uh, video I did was things that I really didn't like, things that I hated to keep me warm. Everybody says, get a Mr. Buddy heater as if that's the end all be all. Oh, I should have wrote, you got to keep buying propane for that thing too. Um, anyhow, so this is part two. Um, basically how I keep my sleeping chamber nice and warm. It can be 20 degrees out at night, 30 degrees out at night, and Miss Lucy and I sleep as snug as a bug in a rug. Um, I do apologize. I can't go out into my van, but we got visuals. Of course we have uh, visuals. So part two is how I keep my sleeping chamber warm. And part three is all the nice little things that I have, including this cool little hat that uh, keeps my head warm. Uh, little things that I do that uh, keep me keep us in addition to uh, being warm. All right, so let's get into this. All right, so um, when I'm camping at the casino, you know, at, in the desert, like quartzite, what happens is once that sun goes down, it can be 70 degrees at night and you're in for a steep little curve. It'll go 60, 50, 40, 30 real quick. And I'll tell you what, I would rather, I 100 times more rather winter camp than summer camp any day of the week. I can always make my vehicle warmer. I cannot keep it cooler, you know, because I don't have an air conditioner. So let me talk to you about how I prep my van. I do not have any insulation. There's no woodwork, no nothing like that. What I have is a bunch of stuff. And the important thing to me is I'm going to go through my drawing. All right. So this is the front cab area. I don't care if it's freezing in the front cab area, it can freeze. I'm not sleeping up here. I'm sleeping back up here, back here. This is the side. I have cabinets that go all along the side of my van. And then in the back of my van, I have a small cabinet over here with my refrigerator. All right. So, and I do have some videos. Uh, the most important thing is, and I do not have this, it's if you have a bed, you uh, want to lift yourself up off the floor because um, that'll keep you a lot warmer. So I have a video called the easiest platform bed. So uh, yeah, that's a good video. Uh, how to build a bed easily, cheaply. I think it's $60. You got a bed. Bam. You're off the cold floor. All right. And then I have best window insulation for van to keep the heat out. Also, but my window insulation also keeps the heat in. And that's what we're doing with our little bed chamber. We want this area to stay as warm as possible. We do. And then I also have a video, layers of flooring in my camping van, um, part one through five, how I layered, how I did my flooring and everything. So that's a good one. Uh, keeping, uh, you know, the heat's going to come in from the bottom. Heat rises to the top. And I sleep on a little air mattress. So that's one of the things that uh, we want to prevent. That's why you get up on a bed is to stop that cold air from hitting your butt. Okay. Anyhow, so let's go to my video. All right. The first thing I do is on my windshield, it's uh, produced by the company called Heat shield and I'll go ahead and type it in. I don't get any money for it. And a lot of people have those little window things that twist open to keep the sun out. Uh-uh. This is really, really thick. It's quite dense. And what I do is I put my heat shield in the front window and then the twisty little window things I put directly behind it. It holds it really firmly on the window. And like I said, I don't care if the front cap is freezing, but you know, I want to mitigate the damage. Over here, I have my window treatment. It's the best insulation for uh, the van to keep out. Uh, it doesn't stick out. I'm just showing you that I have on the driver's side. And I'm going to make one for the uh, passenger side as soon as I'm able to. Uh, basically, you cut around your window shape. You get a die. And then you get the corrugated plastic. You wrap the corrugated plastic reflectix, corrugated plastic reflectix, wrap it in material. I don't sew. I duct tape it all around and I smush it in my windows. That keeps out a lot of the cold and it also keeps the warm air in. All right. So we're talking about the chamber. We're getting to the chamber. What I have here are two sets of drapes and all the drapes that go around my chamber. I have drapes here. I have drapes at the back of the van. On the corners, on the corners of the drapes, 
I use my little clamps to clamp them together. We are building a fort. Yes, we are. Um, I, it's like when I was a little kid, we'd build little tents and forts in our bedroom, right? All right. So right here, I have double drapes. And that keeps a lot of the cold air in front. A lot of times I'll wake up in the morning, it'll be 60 degrees in my bedroom and I'll jump up in front and it'll be 30 degrees up there. And yes, I have to have my really thick gloves and my nice hat and my coat to jump up to the front cab. All right, so where all do I do my thick window treatments? I do it on, this is what I call the sun side of my van. So all the side has those thick window treatments that really hold the heat in. All right, next thing I do is, let me see, there's my cabinets right there. What I did behind my cabinets is I got that nice reflectix. I folded it in half and on the back of the cabinets, I went along the whole back of my van uh, with the reflectix. So it's from the cabinet top to the cabinet down. It's providing a layer of protection from when the door opens to where uh, the cabinets begin. And uh, this side door, I will not open the side door at night, but I have, uh, basically I have the window treatment treatment there. I have, uh, the double reflectix, and then I have my cabinets blocking all that cool air. So here we have one side of my little, uh, tent fort, another side of my little tent down here. I have a, uh, you know, in your vehicle, you have those hand straps on your van. I have a bunchy going across. And I put a blanket across the top here. It's totally unnecessary to have a blanket there, but I could, if it actually got cold enough. All right. Now the next thing, I don't know if I can gather this up. This is a really thick quilt and I have two of these in my van. Now across here, I have a double layer of drapes. This is my sleeping bag. This is Miss Lucy's little sleeping bed if she wants to be in it. And of course that's our bucket right there. All right. So, what I also do is I have a thick quilt going across here. Now then, let's imagine this is my quilt. What I do is I slide part of my quilt under the top of my bed. It slides down into here. Hold on. So this is the top of my bed. This is Lucy's dog bed under here and it stays on the floor all during the day. At nighttime, what I do is this is the uh, quilt all rolled up. During the nighttime, I have my drape that goes across, my double drapes, which is suspended on a bungee cord. I just unfurl this real quickly and use them Dollar Tree clamps and clamp it up to uh, the uh, bungee cord that goes across. All right, now this is my big sliding door, okay? Now the same thing, I have another quilt on the side of my van and this quilt is stuffed under my bed, which gives me a layer of protection. So at nighttime, when it's 10 o'clock at night and it starts getting really chilled, what I do is I unfurl my quilt. I unfurl my quilt and then I have my clamps out and I clamp it to my drapes that go across the top of the van. By doing stuff like this, I am creating an interior tent, a little uh, fort within a fort, and it really does keep me and Miss Lucy super duper warm. All right, so my next video will be all the little tips and tricks of things that I bought over the year that really, you know what, it may drop down to 55 degrees in there, ways to get that temperature right up real quick that are pretty, pretty safe. Um, like I said, I would rather cold weather camp any day of the week. All right, Miss Lucy, want to say goodbye to everyone? Come here. She's such a willing partner. And I really do hope that you uh, stay warm. If you have any questions or comments, please write it in the uh, description below. I'm sorry that I'm not out there with you right now, but I have to heal up so I can take care of this little monster. Not I miss Lucy. All right, I'll see you all down the road. Bye.